So, hi, I'm uh, Stefano, and we are here with uh, Coach Billy for the Arkansas Baptist Prep, uh, a school that for the last five years uh, has come to serve uh, us in Boulder and the Church Plant. Uh, and uh, again, this year too, we had an amazing time. Uh, we were welcomed by the mayor on the first day, and it was very, very good to see Billy really preaching the gospel <laughs> to the mayor. What were your impressions about the meeting? You know, it, it's so funny because on the way up, I had sent an email to our to everybody to pray for us because we did not know how the interview would go. And, uh, you know, to say that I spoke, I don't know that it was really me speaking. I think the prayers that were answered uh, through the people that had prayed for us, you know, God just able to open the doors. Great time, and I think very receptive to what we were saying. And, uh, you know, that's that's the wonderful thing. Uh, just the opportunity to get to meet the new mayor, you know, and for him to take the time that he had, even bring us in the office and, and talk to us even more so in the office. I, very thankful and blessed to be able to have done that. It was a very good opportunity. And also, as usual, we'll be able to enter in both in the middle school and high school in Budrio, also where Jenny teaches. And so just yesterday, we engaged with more than 300 students in the middle school, and today we're in a high school, and tomorrow again, going back to the high school, engaging with students and teachers also. And the kids were good, were really amazing, not only in play baseball, baseball is definitely a good opening for many conversations, especially engaging with Italian peers. The kids absolutely love it. Anytime they have the opportunity to share God's love, to share the love of Jesus, they're, they're going to share it. Uh, that that's what I appreciate about these young people that that we bring with us uh, I thought the kids were very receptive listen and, and 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 in a lot of places we go sometimes it's not quite like that you know uh, but I, I thought one of the greatest things what I love to do is is in, in especially in the high school being able to get in small groups and then just get to meet each other and get to know about the American way we learn about the Italian way we share things about our lives. They share things about their lives. So much of a blessing for me to walk around and listen to each one of these little groups, or, or or more so even when we've got somebody up and they're sharing their passion, they're sharing their love to the whole group. Uh, that makes everything worth it. You know, this is a trip for us to be able to spread God's love. But more so than anything, and the kids someday will understand this, it's an opportunity for them to grow mm -hmm. and for them to show how much God loves them, gives them this opportunity to share His love, which His love is His Son that He gave for us. But yes, it's, it is a blessing just to, just to watch our kids, but for our kids to grow. I, I, that's a great thing for us. Yeah, definitely. And also from uh, last year, we are uh, with the team from Arkansas, the first opportunity to enter in the hub for underage asylum seekers in Budrio. And uh, this week, again, uh, we've been spending whole afternoon with them. Uh, and in the evening, we had a really fun time uh, having a pizza of the nations. Uh, there were so many nations representing together and uh, sharing food, uh, but above all, sharing God's love. Uh, and for me, it was great the moment in which the American kids, uh, they really shared their testimony and their love for Jesus, uh, and the African kids listening to that and participating. Uh, so again, that is a terrific uh, opportunity for us, uh, and it's really heartbreaking in some ways, uh, but so much challenging. Uh. Well, and, and that's our, that's the one thing our kids asked early on, are we going to get to go back to the, the asylum seekers, to the underagers? And uh, hopefully, you know, I said, well, I hope we'll be able to do that, we'll see. But it's a chance for them, uh, you know. But to bring a group together like that of, of, of different religions, yep. of different religions, and be able for us to share how much God loves them. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the great thing about Christianity is, is that we have a God that loves us so much that he gave our son for us. Yeah. And we're able to share that and, and, and be able to hopefully and pray that, that at some point in time, these seeds that we're trying to plant will flourish. You know, and I always say we're here to, 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 to rake the ground a little bit, and kick a few seeds in it and cover it up, and then just pray that God will water and nurture, and we see those seeds grow. And so again, uh, it's been a really intense week uh, for us and for the church, uh, but it's so good to see the Lord at work uh, in many different areas, uh, different generations and different peoples. Uh. So on behalf of uh, our church, uh, La Piazza and YFC, I want to say thanks to the Arkansas Baptist Prep uh, for Coach Bill and all the staff that came again uh, this year and years after years. Uh, 
So thanks ever so much for all your help and passion and really loving Christ. Well, thank you. And I keep saying this from the very, thank you for the opportunity for allowing us to serve. Because without you doing that, we would have nothing. And so that that's what we are so blessed with, is to have such a good friend in you and uh, a, a, a brother in Christ yeah. that I know that someday when we sit down in heaven together, we're going to celebrate and have a great time and talk about all the wonderful yeah. times that we had together. So, no, we thank you for allowing us to do it. Well, thanks again, Billy, and uh, see you next time. We'll be back.